veterans participating in a local program sponsored by the Veterans Administration and the Andrews Center were upset this morning when they learned that their place that they had been staying off a Choctaw Drive in Tyler was being closed and they were being dispersed to two additional houses in East Texas. We at the Tyler Morning Telegraph received a phone call and went to the location and got both sides of the story. Why did you do this this way? I haven't had a chance to talk to y'all this morning. Man, this, this, to we get an hour's notice to get out. I'm just it's wrong. Well, okay, hang on just a minute. We'll talk about right, it. Hold on. It's a financial decision. Okay. The program is uh, we have a contract with the VA mm -hmm. for uh, homeless veterans. Okay. And uh, we had the program last year and we got our contract renewed in October okay. for 36 beds. All right. And we have two homes in Tyler and then we have one in Athens. Okay. And it's more rural than this one. Right. Um, anyway, uh, anyone who is a veteran and meets the VA's criteria for homelessness is eligible for this program. They they don't have to pay anything. The the house is here, it's it's two and three vets to a room. Um, they don't have to pay rent or utilities. We have three meals a day. Uh, if they need transportation to a job interview or to medical services, we get them to those. Th this is short no notice, but we re-signed our contract in October with the VA for 36 beds. And what has happened is that we've not gotten 36 referrals constantly. Mm -hmm. We're at about 70%. So actually, we have a vacant house if you add up how many, you know, right. what 70% okay. is. And so what we're going to do is there are a few men. We're going to move over to our other house in Tyler. We're going to move some of them to uh, New Directions in okay. Athens. So I'm, okay. I'm, I'm shook up because I almost woke up and said, hey, you got an hour to pack. And this is not what I was told that was going to happen. I was going to. I was told that hey, we're going to get you out here, and you know what? There's a good market in Tyler to get a job. We'll help you get there. And now, so week, a week and a half. Week and a half. Well, let me ask you now. He's been here a week and a half. Why was he moved to Tyler for only a week and a half when there well, may he, have been discussion on closing this house? Well, he came here. I'm sure because that's where a bed was available. Okay. You know, we'd rather somebody be in a bed than still homeless. Okay. We're not going to make people move any place. We base this on active participation and looking for a job. Now, I don't know if you've been to a job interview yet or not, but all we got to do is talk about it and see what right. the situation well, no, I was is. I was at the other Tyler house. Yes, I realized that. You know, I was over there, and everybody that's here, that's being moved out of here, mm -hmm. they were in the meetings. And Mike, uh, Mike over there, he liked me. He's like, you know what? You're going to be a good candidate. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm a good candidate for Tyler. And I'm the one that got pulled out of that house over there. Just me and another guy. And we didn't know why we were being moved. And now we're coming over here. And these guys, all of these guys are getting packed up out of here. And, you know, I've seen them participate in the green zone. These guys are doing what they're told to do. And they're, they're being peaceful. And, you well, know. Nobody's being moved because they've done anything wrong. But if you want to help us, at least let us know, hey, in a week, we got a good chance it's going to be moved out of here. Go ahead and start getting prepared. Mm -hmm. You don't just come up in like an hour and then say, hey, but you got to go. And expect somebody that is on edge already just to be okay with well, that. Well, Jerry, that contract and working with the VA, you know, is complicated. We want those beds full every day. That's what we're here to do is help vets. So, you know, if today there's 30, you know, we're, we've gone six months way under our revenue. Right. So we have to make a decision in order to keep the other two houses open also. I don't know why the VA has not filled these beds up every day. I, I don't have the answer so, to that. But who's, gonna, who's being held accountable for that? I mean, I, we're, I, we're, okay, we're hold on, let me, let, me, let me ask the question a better way. Okay. We are the result of these bad decisions. Who is being held accountable for these bad decisions or is somebody going to get a promotion because you know what? The way that we're going to work this to get back into the black and become profitable, we have to cut. So is somebody getting a promotion? Is somebody getting a bonus for cutting costs so that it stays lucrative? Or is somebody going to, is somebody going to be held accountable for not keeping the beds full? Where, what shelter were you in that you got kicked out of? I was in Fort Worth. It was across from the Salvation Army. 
I was sent there, was let in, went through the whole process, and then was kicked out because they messed up and didn't give me a bed number and decided that it was too full. John, what service were you in? Marine Corps. Marine Corps, and when, when did you serve? Oh, 97 to 01. Okay. And um, so you're kind of upset this morning as well uh, about this sudden change? Yeah, I'm upset because of what it'll do to certain to some people. Because, I mean, stability is a big thing about for being able to recover. And it just, it's a blow. I mean, I, I can understand from a business point of view, but it just, it seems like it's a profit organization more than a non-profit. I mean, it's like, I, didn't, I had to be called by another housemate about this. We were at the green zone waiting for it to open, wondering why the green zone was locked. And then we get here, and we're on our way back here and find out. This is a 90-day program to get people off of the street, to give them some stability, to help them form some kind of emotional support network with the guys they're living with, and to provide them some training, to figure out, okay, what happened that caused you to be homeless, and what skills do you need to help you keep from, from that happening again? Mm -hmm. You know, so we're not making anybody leave the program at all. Is the program's not in trouble per se. It's just that no, you had to make a financial decision no. based on what you had going on. Right. And you know, if you have 36 beds and only 20 of them are full, you know, you can't keep three houses open. And this that is money that can be used somewhere else in. Well, it's the VA's money. Yeah. Yeah. And if um, if we don't have those 36 beds full most of the time, mm -hmm. then we're not gonna get paid for those empty beds, right. you know.